Yo, what is up guys, Z Karma here and welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video. Today I'm bringing you guys a video talking about an issue that's been going on since the beginning of the game and I don't understand why it still hasn't been fixed. So the reason why I bring this video is because today I was working on a video regarding ties that bind. And in that video I talk about everything that you need to know and why it's so good and that video should help you make the most out of using this skill. And the problem that I faced was that I was just specking into everything trying to get max damage and when I try to bring out the calculations to predict the damage that I was going to do, I was not getting the correct numbers and I was just wondering why. And it turns out it was just because of this skill right here. Tempest, it still hasn't been fixed. I'll show you guys right now. So let's go ahead and use our fire Rowan's call. So as you can see, Fire Rowan's Call, base damage is 1,514. Now, if we spec into Tempest, we got 5 points on it. It says you get plus 30% elemental damage. So, if we get an additional 30% on top of the 1514, I should be doing 1968. So, 1,968 damage. And there you go. That is correct. Now, the issue here is not with that 30% increase, but with the additional shock damage increase. So, I went ahead and respect my points to try out this shock Rowan's call. So, the base damage for this is 562. If we max out Tempest, we should get 30% extra elemental damage and an additional 20% for shock. So, that should be a 50% increase in shock damage, giving us... 843 damage and if we shoot we actually do 787 which is 40 percent damage so that is 10 percent damage less like i said i don't understand why it's like this it shouldn't be like this especially not five six months into the game so yeah i just wanted to bring you guys this video there's a lot of issues in this game with many skills I'll go ahead and bring you guys a video talking about every single Amara skill that is not working the way it's meant to be working, even though some of them give us an advantage, I would still like to provide that content for you. So anyways guys, before I end this video, I do want to bring you a sneak peek into tomorrow's video talking about ties that bind. So let me show you this gun's base damage, 700, and we'll go ahead and go to Athena's and I'll show you exactly how much damage i can make with ties that bind starting off with a 700 base damage it is absolutely insane so i'm currently on athena's and i'm on true vault hunter mode with no mayhem level so don't pay attention to how much health i take off just pay attention to the damage numbers so let's use ties that bind so you can see exactly how much damage i can deal to those linked targets 13k you see that 13k back there out of 700 damage that we started off with, I ended up with 13k, which is absolutely insane. And that's not the most I can do. I'm still missing a couple of things that could make it better. So in tomorrow's video, I'll be showing you guys exactly why this does so much damage. But for now, let's just keep it short and sweet. One of the main reasons why Ties It Bind does so much damage is because anointments like this one where i gain 50 percent bonus shock damage apply multiple times so just really quickly i'm going to show you whenever you activate your action skill with this anointment i'm going to get 50 percent bonus shock damage for 10 seconds so let's go ahead and use it and shoot and you can see i'm doing bonus shock so whenever i use ties that bind what happens is that whenever there's a target here and i grasp it and there's links that link is shared damage. That is going to be 35% of the damage dealt. So since I did two different damages, both of them are transferred. And when that damage is transferred, they do the damage based on your action skill element. So I'm doing a lot of shock damage to shielded enemies. And once that shock damage is combined on that side, whenever it transfers, that damage also receives the 50% bonus shock damage with weapons for 10 seconds making it do insane amount of damage tomorrow i'll go ahead and show you exactly how it works with examples and show you the damage numbers pause it photo mode everything just so you guys don't miss a thing so anyways guys 
I'm going to end the video there. I hope you guys are excited for tomorrow's video. I'm doing my best to try and figure out the best way to deliver the information. So hopefully by tomorrow afternoon, I'll have it ready and uploaded for you guys to watch. That's going to do it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more Borderlands 3 content. Hope you all have a good rest of your day and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.